want to see if we can see this hot spot. I don't think so. I don't think any of this is going to show up. But there's a heck of a hot spot out there where the sun's coming across. Let's see if these mountains show up. I guess not. Hey. I don't know if y'all can see that hot spot out there, but that is amazing. <laughs> it's pretty clear and evident here, standing here visually, what I'm looking at. I'll tell you what. Pretty much see it coming straight across the flat lake. Once you realize what the sun is really doing, it becomes so obvious when you watch it. I hope y'all can see that. The sun is making such a hot spot right where it's at right now. Not a chance that could ever happen if the sun was 93 million miles away, y'all. That could never happen. Oh, here it comes. We might get some really good footage. I'm going to try to set my laptop down here and see if we can't get some still footage of this or some footage of this sun coming. Wow, is that something? I think I might just leave my laptop right here. Holy smokes, folks. I hope that hot spot's coming through. You want to talk about an obvious... Uh, something brought me down here this morning, but you want to talk about obvious. What I'm seeing right now, knowing what I know about the sun. You're looking at it right now, folks. Welcome to Flat Earth. Wow. I hope y'all can see that. Boy, I'm getting some good footage, I sure hope. If that ain't the most obvious thing you've ever seen in your life right there, here it comes, the very top of the sun as it's entering my field of vision. Look at the hot spot surrounding that sun, y'all. You can't figure out what that's doing. I don't know what to tell you. I'm going to let this computer roll and get the hell out the way. I think I'll smoke one. Here comes the sun, I say. It's all right. Do, 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 do. By the way, that old fella fishing over there, he's a nice guy. We're just, he's out there trying to get a salmon. I don't, I don't think he's in the shot. There's a guy right over here casting some Cleos and some... Uh... Well, I'll be darned, folks. It's one of the most beautiful sunrises i ever seen so far. I hope you all can see this. Welcome to Flat Earth, y'all. Wow, is that something else? Holy cow. I hope you all realize I hope you all realize that a sun 93 million miles away could never produce the effects that I'm looking at right now. I sure hope this comes out on video, y'all. Boy, if I had a P900, we'd have proof on our hands right here. Talk about a smoking gun, y'all.
Well, I don't know if my video is going to come out any good, but I sure am glad I'm here to see this. Absolutely breathtakingly stunning. Stunning. Folks, from this angle, if you sit and you stare at the sun, you can literally see it. It's moving quick enough that if you just sit and stare at it, you can literally see that it's coming straight at you, flat and level. It's easy to see once you know what you're seeing. <clears throat> I hope you can see the hot spots surrounding that sun. So beautiful down here today, it don't much matter if you catch fish or not. All it took for was them for to, for them to tell humanity it's rising, folks. You can literally sit and watch it, and it's moving towards me. Ain't no rising happening. Doing some serious sun gazing this morning. I sure hope it comes out on this video, y'all. Talk about catching it exactly in the right morning at the right time. I sure hope this video comes out, and I hope that sun is showing up well. For those with eyes to see and ears to hear, what 
I just captured was nothing but the truth, y'all. I'm going to let this roll for a few more minutes because I have no idea if this is coming out or not. But if it does, it's going to be a spectacular sunrise video. <coughs> Not only can you see the sun coming right at you, not only can I sit here and see the sun coming right at me, but look at the local hot spot, y'all. Look at the local sun. You're absolutely perfectly created low and local sun coming at us over the flat and level Lake Gichigumi this morning. Life is good, y'all. It's another perfect day in God's country, and I sure ain't lying. The reflection right now is an absolute straight line coming right to me. It's got light waves this morning, very light waves. She's pretty calm this morning, for the most part. Maybe y'all can even hear those waves coming in, I don't know. Now, if that sun was 90 million miles away, this whole area would be in the sun right now, but it's not. We've got a local hot spot where the sun is, and it fades off as you go to the right, and it fades off as you go to the left. Horizontally in either direction, of course. Might be able to catch that fisherman dude in this shot, too. It's pretty cool, eh? He's out there casting for salmon. About that time of year when the salmon be rolling in, trying to make their way up the rivers. Yeah, well, I hope I got some good footage there. Maybe y'all can see this guy fishing, fly fishing out here. It's pretty cool, too, right? You know, spending the morning fishing for salmon. This is just a gorgeous place, y'all. What a beautiful morning. It's still early. I don't even know what time it is. It's probably, uh, I don't know, a little after 7, maybe? I don't know, but I got here in time. I sure hope that video came out. What a sunrise this morning, y'all. I might have to come down here every morning. I did some really good sun gazing. I watched it just coming right at me. I don't know if y'all can see it or not, but the hot spots are amazing. The local sun. The local specular reflection coming from the sun. Welcome to Flat Earth, y'all. Time to jump back in the old Lincoln here. By the way, 
I noticed uh, I was at Ryan, uh, Brian's birthday party online the other day, and some folks were talking about my Lincoln here, and I thought that was pretty cool. Um, by the way, she's uh, so dirty right now, I'm almost embarrassed to show it. But uh, I want to be specific to everybody. Yeah, I like my cool cars, man. Uh, I want to let all, all the people that were paying attention and dig my, my cool old rides. Yeah, this is a 97, so it's not super old. 25 years old, though. She's really close to mint, and I have the original wheels. I've been hand sanding them, and uh, she'll have all new tires and wheels on her for next summer. Uh, she won't be out too much longer this year, but what I do want to be specific. I wouldn't dig this car at all if I bought it for $63,000, which was the price tag on this thing in 1997, y'all, because she loaded. This is a Jack Nicholas the Bear Signature Series Lincoln Town Car. I bought it for $2,000. That's what makes me love these cars. I'm rolling around in a $64,000 car, and... Uh, I got two grand in her, y'all. Put a couple bucks into the brakes, and uh, man, she just a dream. Uh, I bought her with about 114,000 miles on her. I got 150,000 now uh, because, folks, as much as I would just love to preserve this thing, and I mean, I am preserving it. I don't drive it in the winter, uh, but I got to drive it. It's just bad to the bone. One of the best, uh, Lincoln Town Car. One of the nicest cars you can ever drive. I ain't lying, y'all. So, uh, love this car. Um, just just uh, ran into an old fella yesterday. Was asking me about the car. The old timers love this thing. They can't believe how clean it is for up here in the UP. And uh, I told him I paid two grand for it. Oh, Jesus Christ, you stole it. <laughs> it's like driving a brand new Lincoln Town Car, y'all. So I always got my eyes peeled. And I knew I was literally looking for a Lincoln. And as soon as I saw this, I knew I was buying it because it's a 97. Best Lincoln town car ever made. The last year of the big rear wheel drive V8, you know, cars we all grew up with, man. This is Lincoln's last big town car, 1997. Rear wheel drive Ford V8. Can't even tell I'm driving it right now, can you? I can't tell I'm driving it right now. Sometimes I just set the cruise and take a nap. Say, all right, man, wake me up when we get there. <laughs> you got to be careful in this thing. You roll the windows up, turn the air conditioner on in the summer, it will put you to sleep, man. I mean, you've got to be careful, and I'm not lying. I've, like, sort of come to, you know. Can't say I was sleeping, but I don't know. I've been cruising in this thing, you know, about 58 miles an hour across the UP, and I just sort of come to. And I go, where the hell have I been the last hour? <laughs> and, uh, of course, my son rides with me in this. Same thing. We got to keep a window open or he goes to sleep, man. Uh, something about this air ride suspension, it'll just lure you right to sleep. I don't know. I'll roll the window up. Maybe y'all can hear how quiet it is. But, you know, you can't can't hear nothing barely feel anything just enough it's like flying in an airplane just enough to put you to sleep so uh, you got to be real careful driving these things man you know none of my Ford trucks will put you to sleep when you're driving them. <laughs> they'll put you in a ditch if you ain't paying attention <laughs> that's where they'll put you but you ain't gonna fall asleep driving one of my old Ford trucks I'll tell you that right now my plow truck ain't never going to put your ass to sleep, man. <laughs> It'll keep you on edge the whole time. Make sure you're paying attention. All right. We are rolling into beautiful downtown Gay, Michigan. If any of y'all can see this, this is the town. This is the whole town. The fire department, the park, the town hall, and the township offices. And the world famous gay bar right there. That's it. Downtown gay. Now you all have seen it. Ask yourself, who can I help today? Most importantly, stay true, y'all.